Hi, everybody. Tony Caridi along with Jed Drenning. We're on the clock toward the 2009 West Virginia football season. Week number three for the Mountaineers. We'll see them play on the road for the very first time. Quite a location. On the road, at night, SEC, Auburn Tigers, and Jarrett Brown's first true road start of his career. Hello, Saturday Night Football. Yeah, literally into the mouth of the cat. You know, right in the heart of SEC country, in the heart of Dixie. Uh, Tony, you and I were talking about this. The last time uh, a Mountaineer made his first road start, debuted on the road in a venue comparable to this, uh, the two we could come up with were Major Harris in 1987 at the Horseshoe against Ohio State, and then, of course, Hostetler in 1982 at Norman against Oklahoma. It's a tough place to play, the sixth largest venue in college football. What do you need to say? Jordan Hare Stadium. So you know that as a new starting quarterback, he's been around the horn a few times, but he hasn't been the guy during an entire offseason, during an entire camp, and now this will be his first time being the guy on the road. Auburn's football program, obviously massive changes since the last time West Virginia met them. Tommy Tuberville is gone. Gene Chiswick is in. That's not going over particularly well uh, down in Auburn. And so the pressure immediately is going to be on him. You did a little research, and uh, it shows that first-year coaches at Auburn don't necessarily do real well. No, they don't. Uh, it was very revealing. Uh, I, I, first of all, I wanted to ask myself, well, how well did Tuberville do his first season there? I went back and looked, and he was 5-6. and six. Well, Bill Oliver preceded him, didn't do so well either. He was he was sub-500. Went back and I saw Coach Bowden, 1993, as we all know, he went undefeated his first year, ended up winning his first 20 games. But I, just curiosity, my, my curiosity has peaked so I continue to look. Terry Bowden stands as the only Auburn first-year coach with a winning record since the 1920s. That spans about a dozen or more coaches. That is incredible. Incredible. So Gene Chiswick doesn't have early history on his side, at least. And the question is, which Gene Chiswick will show up? Will it be the Gene Chiswick who was 5-18 and 18 at, Iowa, at Iowa State, uh, who lost 10 straight games, his, his final 10 games, I believe? Uh, or will it be the Gene Chiswick, who was the defensive coordinator for the undefeated Auburn team in 2004, the undefeated Texas team in 2005, and was voted assistant coach of the year nationally in 2005? Which Gene Chiswick will, in fact, show up? Also, when you take a look at the Auburn team right now, regardless of who the coach is going to be, uh, they came out of spring still wondering who their quarterback was going to be. Yeah, Neil Cottle is, uh, is the guy fighting the incumbent, Cody Burns. Cody Burns started against us up here. He's the more elusive of the two, the more athletic of the two. Cottle put up the better numbers in the spring, but as everybody knows, you know the best job in town is to be the backup quarterback, so right now he's the popular favorite. Uh, but when you look back to how that game played out last year, it was a pretty tight matchup, and a lot of people forgot that just because of the end result being 34-17. to There was a point in that game, Auburn went up 17-3 in the second quarter. After that, immediately after that, they recovered an onside kick and got the ball around midfield. They tried to reverse the first play out to Montez Billings. All right, He had a seam and could have got down probably close to the West Virginia 30. They would be well underway, maybe to take a 24-3 lead, lead. That might be game, set, match. Our season goes a different direction, but lo and behold, the secondary comes up, knocks him for an eight-yard loss. We end up forcing a punt. The rest is history. Pat makes it 17-10 at the half, and we went 34-17. We were one play away from that game turning out very differently. So don't go thinking that, well, West Virginia knocked them off handily last year. We'll go down to Jordan Air and do the same this year. Who knows? Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be a huge, huge test for the Mountaineers. It will be game three of the season, and of course, as we said, the first road game. That's a three-game wrap so far on the Mountaineers. Thanks for being with us, along with Jed Drenning. We're on the clock. I'm Tony Caridi on WVMetroNews.com.